One of the things that makes Escape from Tarkov such a rich experience that sticks with you long after you exfil and switch off is the incredible map design. Not only do Tarkov maps set the stage for epic gunfights, they are unique, beautiful and also quite eerie. For example, take Interchange. The main point of interest on Interchange is the Ultra Mall, which takes inspiration from the real-life Mega Mall chain that can be seen in various locations around Russia. In fact, if you look at the Mega Mall in Nizhny Novograd, it should seem pretty familiar. These malls are anchored by huge brand outlets including IKEA, Adidas, among others, many of which make it into the map, albeit with very slight name alterations. It's a very vivid representation of what these bustling commerce hubs might look like if they were completely ravaged by modern warfare and stripped of most things of value. With makeshift medical facilities dotted around to care for the wounded, not to mention the corpses of some of those who didn't make it. The realism, the beautiful rendering of this real life mall, it's extremely immersive and quite spooky to be honest with you. I remember around the time I began playing Escape from Tarkov, I immediately gravitated towards Interchange. I just loved hanging out at the mall, especially around Idea, where I found my very first Tetris. Around that same time, me and the missus took a trip to Ikea in Glasgow, where we live. As we wandered from aisle to aisle, I remember looking around and picturing the place looking like it does in Tarkov, like it would if a huge war had blown through and left the place devastated. I don't mind admitting, it gave me a slight chill and I thought, wow, this game is really working its magic in me and I couldn't wait to get home and get back on my next adventure to the Interchange Mall. Another creepy structure that mirrors real life is the health resort that sits in the centre of Shoreline. Resort is a key focal point for high-end PvP and hosts some of the most valuable loot in the game. The eerie image of the building is based on the real-life abandoned sanatorium Strelna, which is located near St. Petersburg in Russia. After discovering this, I had a poke around for some footage inside and I was able to find some. I'll link to that below if you want to view it in full. Sadly, as you can see, the inside isn't quite as interesting as the war-torn Tarkov resort, laden with bloodstained gunnies and high-value items, but still, it's cool to see nonetheless. Tarkov is a game that creates tremendous feeling in the player. You experience a range of emotions and the haunting, true-to-life locations and points of interest add to the atmosphere and feeling of realness that permeate this universe. The experience of playing, particularly in the honeymoon phase, sticks with you long after you switch the game off, just the same way as a particularly moving film will stick with you for days after you've seen it. To me, that speaks volumes for what an amazing job Nikita and BSG have done with this game, and as someone who has the benefit of being able to experience this firsthand, I can only express my gratitude. And that's about it for this video, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at some of the real life places that Tarkov is based on. If you have enjoyed the video, all I would ask is uh, click the like button below, that's it, nothing more than that, just give it a click, it helps other people find the video as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Take it easy.